Hey guys, it's Battle Wolf here from another LEGO review, and today's set is going to be the Death Star Final Duel 2020 version. And the set number is going to be 75291, and the pieces are 775 pieces. Uh, the age recommendation is 9 and up, and the price for it is $100. Alright, let's get it right into the review. Alright, the first record we have up is Darth Vader. He has printing in the front part and of his torso and legs, and he also has printing on his arms for the first time. And he also has printing on the back part of his torso. And I think that's for First Storm 2 that he has printing on the back part of his torso. And that's kind of it about him. He comes with this red lightsaber. And you can take off his helmet. Oh, sorry. You can take off his helmet and he has just this normal head that we've had since 2015. And he's got scarring on the back of his head. And that's kind of it about him. So let's get on to the next figure. All right, the next figure we have up is Emperor Palpatine. He has printing on the front part of his legs and torso, and he also, I think, has printing on the back part of his torso. Oh, no, nope, no back printing on the back part of his torso. Um, this is the first time he comes with this new hood piece that we got in Kylo Ren's shuttle. Um, he comes with lightning right here and also with a lightsaber, but that's going to be in the set. And he also has two expressions, one standard face and one angry face. Kind of. I think it's supposed to be smiling, but... Yeah, that's kind of it about this guy. Let's move on to the next figure. All right, the next figure we have up is Luke Skywalker, based on his uh, Return of the Jedi look. Um, there's nothing really different about this Luke Skywalker compared to the last time we got him in the set. Um, I think it's the exact same thing as the last time, but we got printing on the front part of his torso and printing on the back part of his torso. And he comes with this just standard uh, comb piece. And... He has a smirk right here on this one and an angry face or just kind of a standard face and comes with a green lightsaber. And that's kind of it about Luke Skywalker. Let's move on to the last figure. All right, the last figure we have up is the Royal Guard and he is just the exact same from the last time we got this set too. Um, so move that out of the way. Um, he's got printing on the front part of his torso and I think he's got printing on the back part of his torso. Nope. No printing on the back part of his torso, but he comes with this soft cape right here, and we've had the same mold for him, and he has no, just a regular black face right there, and he comes with this pike, and that's kind of it about him. Let's move on to the actual set now. All right, here is the set. Um, so the th first thing we have up is going to be this little section right here. Um, there's nothing really too important about it except for like this door right here where you can move grab these handle parts right here and just move them out and if you want to lock the door you can just come up um it used to be like a little bar you can put right here but that was in the last one um but there's a, a lot of attention to detail over here like you can have these uh, i like these little light details right here and i like how they actually added different stuff than the last time on the set um and yeah let's move on to the actual part of the set um by the way you can move these and just take them off like this and then this will be extended out into making it like a little bridge right here. Um, yeah. Then the next part we have up these stairwells right here. You press this lever down right here and it will fling these stairwells off. But it doesn't really work that well. Uh, unlike the last set. But yeah. Um, we can just put this back right there. Uh, we, next part we have up is the throne part right here. Let me zoom in on the camera. Sorry about that. But, yeah, the part about the set that's different from the last one is these parts right here. Uh, these little parts right here, these little computer parts. So he's got a little Death Star printing on the side right there. And the chair spins around and has a lightsaber in the back. You can also put, like, a lightsaber right here on the side. And that's kind of it about up here. Um, let's move on to this part over here. Let me zoom out. All right, so this part of the area, uh, you can put Luke Skywalker right here. He's supposed to come up from right here, and he's supposed to fling up onto here, onto the railing. So it's going to be like this, but it kind of doesn't really work that well, as you can tell. Uh, you have to, it doesn't, you have to really, like, push down on it, but it just depends. You can actually sometimes actually land, like, on his feet right there. 
And then you can have Darth Vader come down and cut this down, like from the movie, and Luke will fall. And the whole entire railing is supposed to fall like that. It's kind of it about over here. Um, let's move on to the last part of this set is this other side piece right here. Let me turn the camera around. All right. So this part of the set, you're supposed to have like basically Darth Vader uh, recreate the scene of Darth Vader throwing Emperor Palpatine down the reactor shaft. And that's kind of it. He just falls down there. You have to lift the set up to get him underneath. And that's kind of it about it. Uh, yeah, that's kind of it about the set. There's not much uh, play features about it compared to the last one that we got in 2016. But yeah, let's move on to the actual review. All right, my overall thoughts about the set is that it's actually pretty good compared to the last one. Uh, the last one, I'll do a comparison video later on in the future because uh, the last one is in pieces. I have to refix it and do all this stuff. But uh, yeah, stu uh, stay tuned to the future about that. Uh, subscribe for that one. Um, but compared to the last one, it's actually pretty smaller than the last one. And I think it has more attention to detail, has more play functions compared to the last set. Um, the only problem I had with it is that um, at the beginning of the base uh, for the doors opening part, there's supposed to be like a little flinging me mechanism that's in the last one, but that's kind of it. Um, and there's also on the, underneath where uh, Palpatine's area is, um, there's supposed to be a mechanic where the lightsaber will be flung up and be caught, but that's not in it. So that's kind of it about the set. Uh, my only complaints about the set. Um, what I do like is that there's actually space underneath this, the throne area for like Luke and Vader to fight. So you can recreate that fight scene. Um, but for a hundred dollars compared to the last set, which was $120, I think it was the first time it came out. I'll put the actual price up here. Um, but compared to that, uh, it's actually pretty good for $100. Uh, you get five figures. Uh, granted, you get two of these guys, though. But for a set that you got back in 26, uh, 2016, 2015, I think it was, uh, that's actually pretty cool. I mean, LEGO does not do that a whole lot. They don't go back and recreate sets, uh, except for the 20th anniversary, but it doesn't count. But no, they don't really go back and recreate sets like this. Um, so that was pretty cool. They actually went back and redid that set. But yeah, I really have no complaints about this set except for this that beginning area. But uh, yeah, so if you guys liked the video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more videos, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.